At a time when most 83-year-olds might have long ago begun to take it easy, longtime civil rights activist Bob Zellner is still working. We do consulting with universities, colleges, uh, political campaigns, and um, also uh, people his who are writing history. So that's what we do full time. They consult with groups like Seattle-based Common Power, which organizes volunteers to help with voting across the country. Zellner is partnered with his wife, Pamela Smith, to stay in front of what he calls a new era of civil rights. They work all over the country, but right now primarily in seven states in the South and Midwest. Uh, the states that are very close in the vote between the Republicans and the Democrats, which we see as the uh, progressives and the ones that want to go backward in American history. And Zellner is no stranger to history. His book, The Wrong Side of Murder Creek, tells his story of being a white man from the South, Alabama native, Murphy High graduate, and his involvement in the civil rights movement. A movie, Son of the South, is based on his book. You're supposed to be nonviolent now. I'm having a real big problem with that right now. The height of the civil rights era was a worrisome time for Zellner. Today is no different, he says, with overt efforts by some to restrict access to the voting booth. So there's a group in our country that want to do away with voting. That means doing away with the democracy. But the majority don't want that. And what we're about the business of organizing that majority to take back its power. And Zellner and Smith show no signs of slowing down as long as there remain wrongs to be righted. Uh, I've tried to actually stop, but you can't. Uh, if, if we're like old uh, horses that used to pull the fire engine. When the bell rings, you, you, you charge out of the uh, stable and go to where the fire is. And Zellner says right now there are plenty of fires. Bill Riles, WKRG News 5.